So you want to get the Waystones mod in Minecraft 1.18.2. Well, Waystones is honestly really, really cool. As you can see, it adds in Waystone blocks that players can return to once they've been activated, either through a warp scroll, a rechargeable warp stone, or by using an existing Waystone to hop from one to another. It's kind of like adding in a teleportation style system in vanilla Minecraft, or not in vanilla Minecraft, but in survival Minecraft using the Waystones mod. Honestly, it's very, very cool, and you can see some of the different stuff on how to use it and all that as well here. However, what we're gonna be doing today is installing it. To do that, you wanna go to the second link in the description down below, and that's gonna take you here. This is the Waystones mod official download page. And on this page, you wanna look at the right-hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that, you'll find the Waystones Forge 1.18.2. You wanna make sure that this is the 1.18 dot two version of waystones go on the orange download button to the right of that and the download will begin after a few seconds here. However, while this is waiting to download, right, while this download is queuing, how about a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host, and go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them, and if you want to run a mod like Waystones on Apex, you can do that, but you can also install over 200 mod packs with one click at Apex. We love and trust them again so much, we host our own server there. They are truly the best server hosting company out there. So if you want to start your own server, check out apex.minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. And just as planned, while you are helping us do what we do here and keep the lights on, we downloaded this mod. And now you may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Either way, that's 100% safe. It's part of all mods, including Waystones. Now, one more thing that is required for Waystones is Balm. Now, kind of a weird, but it's basically a library mod. Library mods are mods that are required for another mod, like Waystones, to work. You can find the link to this in the description down below. And once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the 1.18 section. There's no version number listed on this, but it is officially working for 1.18.2, so you have nothing to worry about there. Click that download button and my internet is being a bit slow today so we'll just uh, go ahead and do a jump cut to the next page. So here we are exactly like the Waystones mod. Same download page and everything. Waited a few seconds and now it is downloading now as you can see in the bottom left. Made need to keep it or save it exactly as Waystones as well. Now there's one more thing we need to download and that is Forge. Forge is basically the mod loader that allows Waystones and Bomb, an extension, to connect to Minecraft, right? So Forge is the bridge that connects Minecraft mods to Minecraft. So we need Forge in order to install these mods. And luckily, you can find a link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Forge. However, we will go over the basics in this video. So once you're here, go ahead and click on the green download of Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. Once you're here, we want to make sure MC 1.18.2 is selected. As you can see, it is. If it's not, you can select it on the left-hand side side. Nevertheless, once we've got 1.18.2 selected here, just come under and click Installer, Download Latest. So under Download Latest, click on Installer, and it will take us off to Forge right here. Now stop! Don't click anything! What are you doing? Stop! 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 Don't do anything on this page, except click the red skip button in the top right. The only thing you want to click on, add focus here after clicking installer. So on the Forge download page, right? On this page, you clicked on installer. After you click installer, you'll be taken here. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button in the top right. That's the only thing you want to skip is the red skip button in the top right. And when you click on that, Forge will download in the bottom left. Now, as you can see, Forge download in the bottom left for us. We don't need to keep it, but you may need to. And as long as Forge is in the title, it's safe to do that. Same thing in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may need to save it and, uh, so looking forward to in the title. You got nothing to worry about. You're good to save it. Now we can go ahead, minimize our browser, and we need to get the files we just downloaded, Forge, Quark, and Bomb to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11, and then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you will find Forge, Bomb, and Waystones. Look at that. Drag and drop these to your desktop so we can get them installed. Now the first thing we want to do is actually install Forge. Forge is basically, like I said, required for these mods to work, so we're going to start off there. Now, if your icons do look different from mine, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to fix that, but first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, right-click on Forge, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. Then, after a uh, 30 seconds to a minute, Forge usually will open up unless you don't have the correct version of Java or you didn't even have Java there at all. And if that's the case, well, guess what? It's fixed the exact same way as the icon. So if you don't get this right here opening up, what you need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18 mods, including 
you guessed it, Quark. So when Java 17 is required, this is our in-depth guide on how to get it. We also have a text tutorial, whichever one you prefer will get you to the destination of being able to open up Forge. Now, for some of you, your icons still may be broken. They might not look like mine, and I know that does bother a lot of people. And if you want to fix that, you can run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. That's something that helps so many people get basically Java working with their Minecraft mods. It's a simple little tutorial, three steps to get that up and running. Finally though, you should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up that mod system installer, where we just want to make sure Install Client is selected, and then click OK. Now at this point, the only reason Forge will install is if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.2 with no mods or anything like that before. If that's the case, go play it, open it to the main menu, close out of it, come back, and uh, this will work, right? You'll be able to install Forge. So it's that simple. Also, Forge will pause and it'll look like it's frozen and stuff while it's installing. That's also normal. But when it is finished, you'll get this successfully installed client profile Forge for 1.18.2. Click OK and it will close out of the Forge installer and you can delete Forge from your desktop. Now let's get Waystones and Bomb installed. To do that, you want to go to the Minecraft launcher here. Now, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, it's worth noting we need to open up Minecraft with Forge. Now for some of you, this will automatically be selected. It is for me here. If it's not for you though, click this little arrow next to the play button and select Forge. But if Forge isn't in that list, right here, or if it is, but it's not 1.18.2 dashboards under it, what do you need to do? Well, in that case, you need to come up here to installations and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded, it's gone. Check modded, there's Forge, click play, click play again, you're good to launch into Minecraft. However, if you don't have Forge here, or again, you don't have that right version, even after mod is checked, make sure you click new installation because we need to create our own Forge profile. You can do this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18.2 grief protected survival and skyblock server. Truthfully, it is the best Minecraft survival and skyblock out there. If you wanna play on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com is the one hundreds of players online every day, so come play with us. Nevertheless, once you've got your name entered in there, let's go ahead and click the version dropdown box and we wanna click on the release 1.18.2 dash Forge here. You might need to scroll down to find yours, but mine's right at the top. I'm then going to set my resolution. You don't have to, but I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. But as you can see, release 1.18.2.4 is selected there, and that's the most important part. Finally, click the green create button in the bottom right, and now we have this playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile with Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge. So as you can see, it is now doing that. It's preparing, it's getting everything launched up, and it's going to take a minute to open up. That's perfectly normal and standard for Forge and Minecraft, but there's no reason for me to keep you waiting. I'll just go ahead and do a jump cut until we're on the main menu. And once we are on the main menu, it's super easy to install Waystones, assuming we did open up Minecraft with Forge, which as you can see here, Forge is in the bottom left, so we did. So once you're on the main menu, all you need to do is click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods Folder. Then take Waystones and Balm and drag and drop them both into the Mods folder, right like so. As you can see, Balm and Waystones, there we go. Now at this point, you can just close out of the Mods tab. And whenever you're here, they're not gonna be here, right? They're not gonna be in Minecraft. What you need to do is quit Minecraft and then reopen up Minecraft with your Forge installation. So as you can see, that could either be this one or it could be the one that you created. Either way, click play and click play again to relaunch Minecraft with Waystones installed. And then you can click on the Mods tab to see that Waystones is installed. As well as Bomb. But if Waystones is working, guess what? Bomb is working because Bomb is required for Waystones. But nevertheless, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Now get in the game and use those Waystones and teleport around Minecraft and have some fun. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.